streets and Montana's sweeping landscapes offer a scenic backdrop for all kinds of movies from short films to blockbuster features. One Town is hosting an international film festival showing movies from Montana and all over the world. KPAX's Katie Miller takes us there. The show about cinema in Polson was built in the 50s and now they're looking for new ways to get people to the theaters. We think having a festival in the dead of winter is good. In fact, we were voted one of the top 10 film festivals or winter film winter festivals uh, in the country. It's because there's not that many, I guess. <laughs> but we're also a good one. <laughs> yeah. The Flathead Lake International Cinema Fest, otherwise known as Flick, entered into its seventh year this weekend. Co-producers David and Jessica King have an extensive background in Hollywood. They say putting indie films on the big screen gives them a chance to share a love of storytelling. You never know who's going to benefit from, from a story, who's going to benefit from that hope or that connection or that point of view on life. CEO and general manager of the theater, Becky and Gary Dupuy, say going to the movies is social and offers fewer distractions than watching from home. Somebody calls. The dog wants in. Yeah, the dog wants in. Your kids want help with their homework, whatever it is that's happening. But, um, you know, when you come to the theater, you don't have any of those distractions. You can really sit down and enjoy the film and just kind of lose yourself into mm -hmm. what's going on on the screen. This year's festival featured 56 films from China, France, Australia, the UK, Iran, Canada, and Montana. Producer of movies like Jurassic Park, The Color Purple, and The Flintstones, Jerry Mullen, grew up in Great Falls. He says he always knew he wanted to make movies. It's still a great date night. It's still a way to take the family out, take the wife out of the house, you know, let her go out and have some popcorn and a Coke. Mullen also helped produce Schindler's List, which is showing on Sunday, followed by a Q&A. In Polson, Katie Miller, MTN News. Showboat Cinema will also host encore showings of some of the top films throughout the coming week.